And Chris Hockley back here in uh, Ames, Iowa, uh, 2017 NCAA Division One Cross Country Midwest Regional with Brett Gimmer, the DeSoto native and former uh, DeSoto and UMKC runner, who's now what is this year three as uh, head cross country coach, uh, distance assist, coach, assistant, assistant coach, yeah, but distance, distance coach, coach and yeah. Yep. Um, tell me, man, great day. Not only do you get your second, uh, the second all time. Uh, uh, men's qualifier for the Division One national meet in in uh, Bryce Miller, but the men's have their finest, highest team finish ever. Uh, you know, two weeks after uh, after winning the first conference WAC conference title, and uh, just tell me what you're thinking, and feeling right now. Well, second second WAC conference oh, title. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm so, sorry, second. Um, Short changer there. Yeah, no, it's you know we knew at the beginning of the year we wanted to come ro run well at regionals. Um, Bryce, we started a little later in the season, and so just getting him into shape to come out here and run a real good 10k was great um we kind of put all of our cards on the table for this meet and, and we were aiming for you know right around that top five spot so it came up just a tad bit short but it's still a great day i mean everybody ran um best 10ks they've ever ran and uh and just really put it out there and, and i think bryce made mention of like jason favreau losing a shoe at a mile and, right. and still gutting it out um to finish i think 76th and I mean, to run five miles in 20 mile or 20 uh, degree weather right. is a tough one to do. So, very proud of the guys today. Um, the girls, we had a lot of good performances on the girls' side right. too. And, and I think, you know, going back, we finished 18th, which we want to be top 15 today, but um, still the best, I think, finish that the women have ever had yeah. too. So, Some really good performances. Um, even, uh, yeah. you know, what Mia was, what, third today on the team? She was our third girl today. Um, wasn't her best race, you know, but that is what it is. Um, uh, Chandler carry Chandler on. Had a great race. Looked great. Finished 30th and uh, broke 21 for the first time ever. And, and um, Sarah Fogarty was right behind her in 31 or 2104 and finished 36th. So, um, yeah, great, great performances by everybody around today. So. Yeah, I mean, seventh, you know, we're, we're talking about nine regions in the country. We're talking about all the Division ones from about nine Midwest states and, uh, what, 28, 30, you know, 28, 29 teams, and you guys finished seventh. Uh, huge accomplishment. Not only you beat KU, but beat all the other Missouri men's team on the men's side. And, uh, um, and again, like you said, impressive on the, on the women's side. But what, especially the last two years, Bryce had so much success early on in the steeple, and then at regionals, you know, it, the last couple of years have just not gone you know, hadn't had the race that he's wanted. What, what's that feel like to finally have him come through and put together the race on the, on the big, big stage that that he, you know, has wanted to for a couple of years now. Yeah, I think um, the big thing is just changing the mindset. Um, you know, in years past, he would always kind of struggle with the longer stuff, and and we just kind of changed up training a little bit and started this strength stuff and started doubling a lot, and so. Um, and he's just been really consistent. And, you know, there are a few days there where something might, might not have necessarily went the way we had really planned it to go. Sure. And, um, and one day in particular where, you know, we go back and look in the notes of training and he sent me this really long note of how the day went because I chewed him out like that day. <laughs> and, and, um, and ever since that, it has been like smooth sailing and just putting in some volume and, and really intense stuff. So. Um, you know, to see that all come kind of come together. I mean, he ran some of his best workouts ever in these last two weeks, and uh, we knew he was fit, knew it was ready. And I told him, you know, at 8K, you're going to probably look around and say, you know what, I might have a chance to win this, right. and that's fine. Feel feel free to go for it. And coming in with about 200 meters, he looked like he might have a shot, and it right. just started to tie up a little bit. So went from third to fifth, but. Um, you know, the guys he's running with are great guys, and, and so uh, it was a tough day, but a good day. So Yeah, it's always nerve-wracking, anxious at the end of the race as you, you know, top two teams auto-qualify, top, what, four individuals that aren't on an auto team and that aren't on an at-large team, and you're yeah. you're looking at the places and trying to figure out, okay, this is this guy going to make it through on a team, and then uh, were you, were, I guess you were probably pretty confident, though, sitting there fifth, that he, you knew he was in. Yeah, you know, um, the thing was, it was coming down the last home stretch. Uh, I knew there was a couple guys from Bradley, a couple guys from Tulsa, uh, Illinois State. I think had a guy in there, and uh, so it was like, I'm just hoping he, he made me a little nervous. Um, right. Just like make sure you cross the finish line. And uh, when he did that, and we saw kind of fifth place, 
and we're like, yeah, that's good. He'll yeah. be he'll be good for sure. So um, it's nice. We'll go home and uh, get our stuff ready for next week and and be ready to go. So. And he's the second uh, UMKC Rue to uh, qualify for nationals yeah. alongside your old teammate Cosmos IAB. And uh, what uh, what what's the early uh, words that you'll say to him in this next eight, eight days to try to get ready for his first uh, NCAA big national cross meet? I mean, you you belong there. It's that's one of the things. The guy was tenth at the Olympic trials in the steeplechase. He's still one of the best steeplechasers in the country. And and you look at people like that, and you look at Courtney and. And you say, okay, you're you're in that same boat, sure. kind of. Um, so don't it's Courtney Ferrix, don't think the former the, UMK superstar and Olympian and world silver medalist. World silver medalist. <laughs> um, you know, don't don't think you don't belong. Right. And that's that's the big one. I mean, that's still only his third race of the year. I think we're still gaining in fitness um, a little bit. And as the, this race, I think it's going to do a lot for him just in fitness. And um, and so you know, we take it easy and go race another one and. Uh, I don't think he's going to be feeling too tired or worn down. He's still kind of cranking along and moving in the right direction. So we should be good. And this isn't just big for him or big for you, but this is huge for the program. Uh, you know, just not only his performance, but the men's performance and the wins performance. And I know as a coach, I'm sure you, you want to take as much advantage of that and build steam and momentum in the program and the recruiting. And just tell me what this does for the program. Yeah, you know, um, it's it's always nice to sit there and go in and say, you know, we were the best team in Missouri and Kansas, and especially for us, sometimes people get us confused. Are you guys from Missouri or from Kansas? Right. Uh, well, we're right there on the border, but we are in Missouri, and uh, so to sit there and say, yeah, we we can compete regionally and and uh, and even on the national level and be one of the best teams out there, um, that's big time for us. So sure. uh, that's kind of our goal is to say, you know what we. We want to be a really good cross-country team, and and um, and we proved that we can do that. So, yeah. Well, it was a great day for the UMKC Roos, and a uh, uh, cold one. And we'll I think we'll let you get out of the uh, out of the wind and the cold here, Coach, and uh, you. get you some get inside and some something warm to uh, some coffee or something. Yeah, so. warm you up. So, yeah. well, congrats, and we'll uh, see you in Louisville in eight days. Sounds good. All right, thanks.